got it. Uh, Bit of an adventure. We're going, we're going crabbing. No idea what we're doing, but uh, we bought all this stuff and I think uh, it'll be a good time. So pretty much right now, just getting some last minute things together. Waiting for my friend Lou to come and pick me up. He's coming in from San Francisco. There's a dead shark on the ground over there. I can just cut up with this knife. Right. That would be so badass. Crabs would just be all about it. I feel like my hat's gonna blow away. Not anymore. Doesn't know what he's doing. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, what's the name of yours? What are you gonna name your pole? Mine's is Martha the Beef Stick. Martha? Martha the Beef Stick. Oh, this gets me. Dude, it's so windy. None of this audio is gonna turn out. Yeah, we should have brought like a little towel. Always bring a towel. You got some? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, I got some um, rock crabs. Red rock crab. It was like a like a yellow rock crab. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What are you using for bait? Squid? Uh, mackerel. I just got a good, I got a lot. If you want some. Oh yeah, man. All right, where are we going? Let's go to this little puddle right here. All right. Tip number one: make sure the line is not crossing the tip of the pole. So make sure the line's not crossing the tip of the pole, or else when you cast, it's gonna snap the line, and your snare is just gonna go flap right out into the ocean. That's at least what they said at the fishing store. I have no clue. Go for it. <laughs> Remember, it's like, yeah, most people lose all their snares because they think it's stuck, but it's not really stuck. It's just in the sand deep. Let's wait a little, another minute. Yeah, be able to take it out. Crabbing's been good so far. Long to eat. Okay, we got some mackerel from this kind of folks from Ryan over here. I'm gonna put it in the trap. You need to cut it up. Mixing up medicine. Okay, we got the mackerel in there. Snares, weights, a little swivel, nice little knot on there. The line is in the water. Now that's in the water, we just wait for five minutes. Crabbing, crabbing's easy. We haven't caught anything yet, but I think it's easy. Go, go, go. Crab, crab, crab. Boo. Nothing. Where were you? Same spot, right? That's the key? Yeah, just keep going the same spot. Crab snares 101. Put the bait in there. The crab finagles it. And then when you pull, it snares it. We got a crab. We got two crabs. We each got a crab. I got the bigger one though. <laughs> better. Hey, I'm cooking both of them and eating both of them. <laughs> I'm a little mad. I, mean, I guess I would be too if I were in the bucket. These are both red rock crabs. You can tell by the way they are. All right, this one's getting the crab. Thanks, you. Yo, that's a big ass <laughs> one. Oh, oh. Nice. Crab fight. For tip number 20. Instead of having loose ones, thread it, thread it through. There's like two points of contact, one and then two. So if the snare is closer to the body of the trap, you're more likely to catch the crabbies. Crab update. We got four. Hey guys. Not a very fun pet. Goodbye, my friend. <laughs> you guys are really great on the men now. You're doing great. Okay, here we go. Cool. New crab in the water fights. Fights with the other crabs. Oh god. 
but if they, if they work together, they could probably get out, you know? Like they made a big crab chain. All right, let's do what Aaron taught us at high fishing. The sand goes through the swivel, pull it through, hold it about halfway up, like, like that, then bring it down. and wrap it six times. One. Two. This hole. Go through the back of it. Pull it. Like that. Dead spit on it. Yeah. I cut the slack. Now bait's loaded up in the snare. Swivel. Unhook the swivel. Loop it on. I am. There it. Good to go. Let's cast out. Inflatable. Oh. I'm not crab fishing in no fucking inflatable.